Hey YouTube, what's going on? When I today I actually picked up quite a few games, so I'm very thrilled about that. So I'm going to start off with the only SNES game I picked up, and the only reason I did pick this game up is because it is rare, but besides that, it's a really crappy game based on a really, really crappy movie, and that's uh, Three Ninjas Kickback. Yeah, but it's rare, so whatever. Moving on to the Xbox, I only got one Xbox game. And it's a game I already have. The only reason I got this game is because it's um, the standard version. I have the greatest hits, and I can't stand having the greatest hits. So I got the standard version of Max Payne. Really cool game. So I'm very thrilled I got that. Next is a PlayStation game I actually got. And this is a very rare game. It's a game that you wouldn't expect it to be rare, but it actually is. And that's... Uh, Klonoa, the door to Phantom Meal. I think I'm saying that right. Really cool. Uh, next, I actually got quite a few PlayStation 2 games. First one is The Bouncer. Pretty cool game. Next is a, a pretty cool, I think it's an RPG. It's um, I just like the subject matter of this game because it takes place in an uh, alternate World War II. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's uh, Ring of Red. Very nice. Next is Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Resident Evil Dead Aim. Very cool game. I actually think that last one was kind of obscure, so very nice. And the last one is actually a sealed game, and it's an RPG. And the only reason I got this is because of the condition it's in. Um... It's actually a limited edition game, but unfortunately it did not come in the outer box to, um, to case this, which is very, very unfortunate. But it's still a sealed game, so very cool. And that's uh, Wild Arms 5. And as you see right here, it's the 10-year uh, the anniversary edition, so very nice. And as you see, it's sealed, factory sealed, so very nice, very nice condition. And it actually came with the um, the art of Wild Arms, which came in the limited edition. So very nice. So is all the character art and all that. But yeah, so I did get the limited edition of this game, but I just didn't have the outer box for it, which is very unfortunate. I wish it was complete, but what can I do? Still sealed, so still worth a lot of money. All right, moving on to a couple games I actually got. At work because we were actually having employee appreciation uh, weekend, I guess. So I got a really good deal on this. So I got three games. The first one is a PS3 game. It's actually a really cool racing game, and that's uh, Sega Rally Revo. Very cool game. Next, I got uh, two PSP games. Uh, first one is uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus. Very cool. And the last one I got, at least from this deal, is uh, Metal Gear Solid Digital Graphic Novel. I think it's a, a uh, interactive comic book. So that's pretty cool. It's still Metal Gear, and I love Metal Gear, so very awesome. I actually got one more uh, PSP game, and I haven't opened it yet. And it's uh, another Castlevania game, and that's uh, Castlevania The Dracula X Chronicles. And this actually has two games in one. It's um, Castlevania Rondo of Blood and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So very cool. I love Castlevania, so very nice. And the last game I got is uh, another game I haven't opened yet. It's a DS game. And it's a very cool game. It's actually my favorite um, SNK Neo Geo game, so I'm very thrilled to have picked this up. And that's uh, Metal Slug 7 comes in this nice shiny slip cover and as you see I have not opened it yet so very cool and um, I think that's it so thanks for watching